Hi everyone, thanks for joining me on this video. Today, I will be discussing our dominion and authority from my new book, Dominion, Occupying Your Seat of Authority. In Ephesians 1.21, it says, Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. Taking dominion requires more than simply wielding authority in the name of Jesus. It requires knowledge and the understanding and rightful use of our position in Christ. Having made man in his image, God provided Adam and Eve as the earth's stewards with intellect, creative abilities, and an innate gift of leadership to rule and reign. Our Father is always managing the business of his kingdom and he created us with the same calling and design. Rada, the Hebrew word for dominion, refers not to God's rule and responsibility, but to men. It means to manage or reign from a position of sovereignty. God fashioned us to share his own authority over his creation. Identity and authority of the believer is the greatest weapon of our warfare. Please get this. Identity and authority of the believer is the greatest weapon of our warfare. Knowing whose you are is the key to winning the battle against the devil. It's amazing that Almighty God has given us his kingdom through Jesus Christ and has made us join heirs with Jesus. Jesus has anointed us as spiritual officers on the earth. He has taken the keys from Satan and gave them back to us. The problem is, is that most of us are ignorant of the power we possess. It's impossible to walk in and exercise authority that you don't know you already have. We must realize that God has made a spiritual dance. That is why we have been made kings and priests. We are mighty kings. God has endowed us with the same authority of the Lord himself. God wants you to know that you are well equipped to withstand the enemy in anything he might attempt to bring against you. You are more powerful than you know, but it emanates from the one who lives inside of you. When we are talking about authority, it's important to understand where our authority comes from. God's kingdom is the center and focal point for the authority of every believer. When we understand the kingdom of God, the more we will understand spiritual authority. The moment you discover the secret of biblical authority, the devil will tremble in his boots. As heirs of the kingdom of God, we have been given the power to rule and reign and have dominion. To understand this, let's look more closely at the original stewardship appointment. Kabas, the Hebrew word for subdue, means to bring into subjection. To dominate, it suggests that the party being subdued is not willing to submit. We see Adam was created to live and move in a kingly manner over the earth as a son of God, along with incredible privileges and weighty responsibilities of his position. Dominion was Adam's birthright and pleasure. But after Adam succumbed to Satan's deception in the Garden of Eden, the enemy established strongholds in all areas of life to hinder our kingdom mandate. Thankfully, God made a way for us to regain our kingdom authority. He did not forget his covenant plan. After Adam and Eve sinned, he sent Jesus, the second Adam, to save man from his lost condition and provide a better covenant. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please view all the videos in this series. The book Dominion is available on Amazon.com. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can leave me a message on my blog at paulabiancalana.com. God bless.